Hi! I've been asked to make a tutorial on how to make beaded beads. And I... Uh, I must start off by saying that I've, if I'm, I feel it's, it feels slightly weird for me to make a tutorial on how to make beaded beads. Um, because I don't see myself as a bead weaver. I do bead weaving every now and then. For, for, I have periods when I can do that. Like recently I've had a period for about a week and a half when I've been doing lots of beaded beads of this kind. But I do not have a pattern that I follow. I, uh, I basically just play around and test different things uh, because I've I like to do that and um, it's that is what it's about for me to just see what happens I do not have a when I start on a new bead I I do generally not have a plan I just put some beads together I, I start at some point and then I just sort of keep working and I see what happens and I, I might try different ways like combining different beads and different sizes or like increasing or decreasing in different ways or doubling beads or whatever along the way so that to see what happens but you can see all, all of these beads are just experiments of mine but they turn out rather nice don't they they're great fun to do uh, I use many different kinds of beads, uh, everything from 15-0 seed beads to 6-0 seed beads, I think are the largest ones I've used. Are these? Oh, they might not even be that big. I think these ones, these brown ones, are 6-0 seed beads. These here might be even bigger. And uh, I use drop beads at times, like on this one, or more obviously on that one. And I use different makes of beads, because um, you can use them, they are good for different reasons, like they have different qualities or, uh, yeah, different qualities that sort of are useful for diff in different ways like uh, Matsuno for instance their beads are almost cylindrical so that is you can use that at times but then the Czech ones which are the yellow ones here they're a bit more round so they can be you can you can use the, the, the different qualities in different in different ways to to reach what you're after here these two and maybe that one too. This row here is be unfinished uh, creations where where I've just started doing something. But these ones have sort of emphasised the squareness by placing different beads in different positions. So I sort of emphasised the corners here, and I did that on that one too. But it's a bit more subtle. As you can see, oh, I don't know if I'm holding it good. Do you see there? And on that one too, is also a bit subtle, a bit larger beads in the corners. And also pattern-wise, I sort of created this cross here. Apart from that, I could say that there are two different ways I go about it. Either I start from the central on one side and then I work outwards and then I turn around and go inwards again. And uh, Or I can start with the, the, the outer ring and then I work on both sides back and forth but just sort of gradually work my way in on both sides and that depends on what you want to do and uh, yeah just play around with that another principle I work from is like if you look at this here you can see it's three beads in the middle one two three maybe it's not so very clear 
but it is one two three purple beads there so there I started with three beads in the central ring and then I start going outwards or you could start with four beads in the central ring which you can see here even if it's the same color in the next ring but here you see the cross in the middle and that is the the, the first four beads I started with and then the next four beads are just the next uh, next uh, round or row or whatever you should call it or you could start with five beads in the central ring you see these five black beads here uh, yes 